Everybody is unique. However, there have been many attempts to categorize people's personalities. One of the most common methods divides people into two types, introverts and extroverts. According to this division, introverts tend to be drawn to the internal world of thoughts and feelings, while extroverts are drawn to the external world of people and activities. Introverts recharge their batteries by spending some time alone. Extroverts need to recharge when they do not socialize enough. Extroverts are good at performing tasks under pressure and coping with multiple jobs at once. Introverts, on the other hand, like to focus on one task at a time and can concentrate very well. Extroverts tend to do assignments quickly. They make fast decisions and are comfortable with taking risks. Introverts often work more slowly and deliberately. They think before they act, give up less easily, and work more accurately. Based on all this information, you might think that introverts and extroverts do not get along. However, they actually work well together because their personalities complement each other. Sometimes they can even accomplish great things when they collaborate. Let's take a look at some famous examples. Case 1. Working together for civil rights on December 1, 1955, in the American city of Montgomery, Alabama, a black woman named Rosa Parks got on a bus. At that time in Montgomery, buses were divided into two zones, one for black people and the other for white people. She took a seat in the black zone and watched quietly as more and more passengers got on the bus. Soon, all the seats in the white zone were taken. Then the driver ordered her to give her seat to a white passenger. Rosa Parks was a shy, mild-mannered introvert. She avoided standing out in public or drawing attention to herself. However, she had the courage to resist injustice, so she answered calmly with a single word, no. The furious driver called the police, and she was arrested. Parks's calm response to the situation impressed many people. Soon after, her quiet resistance came together with the inspirational speech-making of Martin Luther King Jr. When 5,000 people assembled at a rally to support Parks's act of courage, King made a speech to the crowd. He was an extrovert, assertive, sociable, and good at motivating people. There comes a time when people get tired of being trampled, he told them. There comes a time when people get tired of being pushed out of the sunlight. King was an amazing speaker, and his words filled the people with pride and hope. He then praised Parks's bravery and hugged her. She stood silently, her mere presence was enough to strengthen the crowd. Rosa Parks's act and Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech inspired Montgomery's black community to boycott the buses, a crucial turning point in the struggle for civil rights. The boycott lasted for 381 days. It was a difficult time for everyone, but eventually the buses were integrated. Think about how the partnership of these two people accomplished this. A powerful speaker refusing to give up his seat on a bus would not have had the same effect. Similarly, Rosa Parks could not have excited the crowd at the rally with her words. When their introverted and extroverted traits were combined, however, his charisma attracted attention to her quiet bravery. In the end, this partnership had a huge impact on society. On June 29, 1975, Steve Wozniak tapped a few keys on his keyboard, and letters appeared on a screen. He had just created a personal computer that allowed people to type on a keyboard and see the results on a monitor simultaneously. At the sight of the brilliant device, Steve Jobs suggested to Wozniak that they start a business. Wozniak was a great inventor. When he partnered with Jobs, however, he was able to do much more. In fact, the two men formed one of the most famous partnerships of the digital era. Wozniak would come up with a clever engineering idea, and Jobs would find a way to polish, package, and sell it. The two men had opposite personalities. Wozniak hated small talk and often worked alone. It was these features of his introverted personality that enabled him to focus on inventing things. Jobs, on the other hand, had outstanding social skills. According to Wozniak, he was good at communicating with people. Wozniak was a shy inventor, whereas Jobs was a daring entrepreneur, but they were alike in that neither was afraid to face challenges that seemed impossible. So which personality type is better? Obviously, the answer is neither. 
The world needs both introverts and extroverts, and they often make a terrific team. We simply need to respect different personalities as well as our own. Then, when we have a chance to work together, we might be able to do great things.